Have you ever knit cables? Do you want to try? Are you nervous? Don't be. Cables are fun and they're not really hard at all once you get the hang of them. Once you know how they work, you can make impressive textures and projects like these. So what are cables exactly? See how they look here? They look like the stitches are twisted around each other because that's exactly what's happening. You're actually twisting your stitches around each other as you knit them. So the stitches are knit or purled, just like you're used to doing, just like normal knit or purled stitches, but you're changing the order that they're worked. So you're crossing them either in front of or behind each other as you knit them. So cables can be made with all knit stitches or commonly with knit stitches over the top of purl stitches. So as you can see in this one here, the background is all purl stitches or reverse stockinette stitch and the cables themselves are all knit stitches which pop off the background of the purl stitches. Similar to ribbing, how the, in ribbing the knit stitches kind of pop up and the purl stitches kind of recede to the back. But in this case, the knit cables are actually twisted up over the top of the pearls, so they really pop up. So you'll understand that more once you actually make some cables. But that's basically all you're doing is knitting and purling and flipping the order of the stitches as you go. So other kinds of cables, like you see here on the hat, might just go up with reverse stockinette or purl stitches to the sides of them. So the cable itself is all knit and it pops off that background of the purl along the sides. So all cables, no matter how complicated they are, are either stitches crossing to the right or to the left. Or you might see cables written as a front cable or a back cable. And that's referring to where the cable needle is holding the stitches to the front or to the back. So basically you have two sets of stitches and if your cable needle is holding the stitches to the back, then it's a right cable because the left stitches are going over the front to the right. And if your cable needle is holding stitches to the front, then they're crossing over the front to the left. So it's a left cable. A right twist is also a back cable and a left cable is also a front cable. And you can make all these different kinds of looks depending on how many stitches you're talking about where it, like here, it's a bunch of different sets of stitches. So they're all crossed over, 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 over. And here it's three sets of stitches which are crossed in a braid. And here it's kind of two sets of stitches which are crossed wider, which is similar to here where it's across wider or you can just have them cross like in the same column lots of different ways but they're all just the same exact concept of just crossing your stitches and you'll use cable needles to do that which you can get cable needles that look a lot of different ways so you might want to try a couple different ones you can find a bunch of them on nitpicks.com of course try out some different methods and my favorite is actually doing cables without a cable needle which i recommend trying after you've already gotten the hang of how it works and you kind of get the feel for it and how it works, um, definitely give that a try. And all different kinds of cables are really just worked the same way. So once you learn the concept, you can pick out a project and tackle that first project and just take it one step at a time and follow the directions and you're good to go.